To edit any of the templates using the online HTML editor, simply open up one of the templates that you want to use. And then simply right click and view page source. Now you can see the page source. Now you just click in there and press Ctrl A to select all of it and then Ctrl C. You can then close down that window and also close down the main window as well. Go to the editor. Resize the window so you can see it a bit better. Now click on to source, click in the window, press Ctrl A to select all and then Ctrl V to paste in all your code. Now when you go back you'll see that you've got your template loaded and here you can now just enter in text wherever you want all the way down then to add in your form code what you do is you get your form code select your form code control C to copy it Now go back to source, scroll down to the bottom and you will see you have form here, have form and then go all the way to the other form tag where it closes and now you just press Control V to paste in your form code from your autosponder. You can go back to source and now it's changed and you've now got your new, these show you here, your hidden tags. So there's nothing to worry about there. To alter the button text, you can't actually edit it on this editor because it actually acts as a, a clickable button. Just simply go to source, scroll down to the bottom, and where you've got submit and value equals subscribe, you just change your value to whatever text you want, then go back and you'll see it's now changed the text on your button and you can just change anything you like on these templates and then once you've finished simply click source again click in the window say control A to select it all control C to copy it all open up your text editor I'll do a new one and then you just control V to paste it in and then if I save that if I save it now to the desktop save it as a .htm or .html file if you can change it, change it to UTF-8 encoding it doesn't really matter and then you can save it and now if I load up that file from the desktop you'll see that it's changed and you have a fully working version